What up guys and fellow lovers of the Kiwi world, welcome back to another redstone video with me Giorgio and today we're gonna mostly showcase this new iron farm that I designed. Uh, it has pretty good rates, actually I have three tests, the rates of three tests right here. Uh, in the first attempt, in, hour, in one hour we got about 2,876 ingots, iron ingots, second attempt, there you go, 2,792, and 2,797 on the third attempt, which gives us an average of about 2,821 ingots per hour. I would say that's not bad at all, especially because this is not a, uh, like a very, um, Especially because this is not meant as a very industrial farm, it's more of a single player farm that you use whenever you need iron, you just go into your, uh, well, you just load the area of the iron farm, load it for an hour, get a double chest full of iron ingots, and there you go, you just br bring that back to your world. So yeah, it's not meant to be like a super industrial farm, but yeah, it's, it's super easy to do. And I'm going to show you how to build one of the modules, the rest of it you can just download the world download that's going to be down in the, in the description. You can build it yourself, check it out, test it if you want to. And yeah, let's get straight on to the tutorial. So the basic module is super easy to do, let's make it day real quick. There we go, we have to count 16 blocks from the floor because the villagers can spawn an iron golem in a box of 60, no, 32 by 32 by 32 with them on the center. So 16 blocks from the floor should prevent them from spawning any golems in here. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. And we're gonna do one extra just in case. This block is where your villagers are gonna stand up. We're gonna place three more blocks around it and we're gonna grab three beds. Any beds will do, I will use green beds for now. And yeah, we're gonna grab another block, place it just like that on the side that is uh, that doesn't have a bed. Then we're, we're gonna grab some carpets and place two carpets on top of each of the bed as well as of this block right here. They don't have to be glass blocks if you don't want to, but I'm using glass blocks just because they look cooler and you can see through them. Also notice how we have a corner here that it's not being used. Well, we're gonna use it right now. We're gonna place two more glass blocks or any blocks that you are using right there and we're gonna place carpets on top of them. Then we're gonna place a temporary block right there and surround it with more blocks. Then we place a block on top of those blocks and two carpets on top of them. Grab any solid block and place it just like so. Notice how it's hovering above the hole. To place it, you just place a temporary block on top of this carpet and then a block right next to it. And proceed and place two more carpets on top of it just in case. Then you're probably gonna want to place a block, a glass block on top of this hole right here to protect the villagers. It's probably not enough though, uh, but yeah, you'll see how we're gonna fix that. So now, just bring in three villagers into this hole. I'm just gonna spawn them in because I can. <laughs> They're gonna claim the three beds around you. To bring the villagers more easily, you can just set a line of tracks, place a block right there, remove that one, place some tracks like this, of course, power them somehow. And once you bring the villagers through all your line of tracks from the village, they're just gonna fall down directly into the hole, you just remove the minecart and they are standing right in there. Of course I'm, I'm in creative so I will just spawn them. Next thing you want to do is grab a salt sand block and place it right below this hole and replace one of these glass blocks, any one you would like, for a dispenser pointing into the hole placing that dispenser your water bucket and that's what we, we 
will use to turn uh, on and off the farm so just place the bottom wherever you want and bring in a zombie that can hold items this is crucial so I'm just gonna summon it slash summon zombie uh, we'll use my coordinates and an empty that says can pick up loot true actually we're gonna save him real quick there we go and we're gonna give him any item I'm just gonna use now probably a sword is too much I'm gonna use a stick so that it doesn't despawn. You can also use a normal zombie, one that doesn't pick items and just name tag him. But yeah, it, I find it easier to just grab a zombie uh, at night, just lay or throw some items on the floor, see which one uh, can pick up items, put him in a minecart and bring him just the same way as the villagers with some rail tracks and drop him in. Also, keep in mind that Zombies that can pick up items then can pick up, for example, heads, just like a carved pumpkin. And if you do so, you don't need this block up here because they are basically immune to the sunlight. Uh, if you don't have any heads or any carved pumpkins, just place the block and place the two carpets on top of it. So that's the basic module for the farm. The villagers are not gonna see the zombie just yet. But once we activate the farm by clicking on that button, the zombie is going to bounce up and down and the villagers are going to be able to see him. Now remember that for villagers to summon, to be able to summon um, iron golems, they have to sleep at least a little bit in the last 20 minutes. So I'm going to get them to sleep um, right now, just a little bit, we're going to return it today. And I'm going to show you how to build a module that can actually spawn iron golems because right now they probably aren't going to spawn any because they don't know where to spawn them. A good method and a very easy one to spawn iron golems is just basically to replace this block for a solid block, build an, a 3x3 platform and then just extend it one block uh, to that way or to this way, it doesn't matter, I prefer it that way just in case the golem can reach the zombie for any reason and just use glass panes all around it they don't need to be glass panes, they, they could be uh, glass blocks but I believe glass panes give the the golems a little bit more space to spawn and move around, so here we go, glass panes, you of course have to remove one of the carpets on top of that block, it's not a problem it's actually required so some glass panes over there I'm gonna raise it just one more block up just like so so that the iron golems don't climb the glass panes if they want to uh, then we're gonna use some fence gates right on this side we're gonna open them and finally place some water over these two blocks the middle one will just cr automatically create a water source uh, immediately and that's it if we turn on the farm theoretically and hopefully <laughs> yeah there we go the air golems start to spawn it will um, get out of the side of the villagers hopefully uh, soon enough and next another iron golem will spawn in the next 30 to 35 seconds all right, maybe, <laughs> maybe they're not gonna. I think what the prob, I think I know what the problem is. This iron golem is still under uh, track range, as you know. It's a it's a 32 by 32 by 32 box around them, and yeah, this iron golem is probably on the edge of that box. So we're gonna kill it right real quick, and we're gonna create a chamber for the killing action of this iron golem so you're gonna stand directly below this fence gate go back one block and drop all the way to the floor dig down two blocks 
just like so and surround it by uh, making a 9 by 9 area actually let's make it one block bigger on each side just in case the iron golems uh, move around a little bit here we go a 4x4 four four area now we just have to push them with some water on the corner to the other corner have a hopper right there collecting the items probably into a barrel or something like that have some signs holding some lava just like so and the iron golem should die so let's test it out the villagers should spawn an iron golem right away There we go, the iron golems fall, fall in, falls into the trap and it starts getting killed by the lava. Oh stupid slimes, I hate slimes because now all the, the, the worlds are below zero, all the flat worlds and the slimes spawn all the time, I hate it. But there we go, we have some puppies and some iron being produced and yeah, if we leave it running for some time we're gonna get a sufficient amount of iron for, you know, a single player world, a little one. Okay guys, so I've been uh, speeding, up the, speeding up the time here in Minecraft. I use the tick warp uh, command that the carpenter has. I think this is three minutes or five minutes or so. And in that little time we got this much iron, I of course had some slime balls of the all the slime that we have around us uh, that's why I built this little wall <laughs> around the little dead pit but yeah with this little farm we we can get good rates for a single player world where uh, you you load all the time this little farm you can either build it in your spawn chunks or near your home and always be um, loading the area so that the iron golems keep spawning keep dying and giving you iron ingots of course we can just copy this module 12 times to build this mega farm this big boy here uh we just pile up three of the farms in one column then three of uh three of the farms on another column that four times of course uh, 3 times 4 it's 12 and as you can see we have between villagers exactly 16 blocks of uh, space so that each other cannot detect the golems from the other modules. The golems spawn here just as in the little one and they fall down to these huge uh, water pits. I of course use some water tricks so that all the golems are pushed into these metal water streams and then fall into the center uh, the central killing area of course we have some glow squids swimming about anyways we also have this minecart trick so that the the iron that we get in the in the top hoppers gets sucked up super quickly that's because we we sometimes get some uh, golems jamming up and we we need super speed so that we can keep up with the iron uh, I changed all the iron that was in this uh, chest here to this other chest so that we can see what I got in an hour. Uh, this of course was a not perfect test because I forgot that I had set the time today before the villagers had slept for in the last uh, 20 minutes, in the past 20 minutes. So they weren't producing for a long time that is at least five or ten minutes and I, we still got this many iron ingots in just one hour so if you want to build this in your world uh, in your single player world that is it will be a very productive farm you just come here one hour get all that iron bring it back to your storage in your uh, main home or whatever your main base and yeah just come whenever you need iron AFK an hour bring back all that iron in shulker boxes or in donkeys i i don't know where <laughs> wherever you need to uh if you're playing on a server this is probably not gonna cut it if there are many people in the server if you are just casually playing in the server this of course is gonna cut it still you can leave it running uh in the spawn chunks or you can just load it right next to your area 
Bear in mind that an arm of this size can be a little bit laggy if you don't have a very powerful server or a very powerful computer. So yeah, just keep that in mind. You of course can uh, cut off some of the modules, for example divide the farm into two. Uh, and just build one half of it or maybe cut the four modules on top. You can play with it, it's pretty versatile. We of course are bringing the power up with some uh, observer lines. We are turning it on with this lever that turns it off, on and off. Uh, both of the sides that is. Uh, this, these observers are connected to all 12 dispensers with water buckets inside of them. I could of course have uh, used uh, some bubble waiters and some instant uh, updates or vertical updates, but I didn't want to, it, it was easier to just do this with some uh, blocks, node blocks and observers uh, piling up to the top. Golems cannot spawn in redstone components, so the redstone here is basically spawn proofing the, these blocks for basically any, any, any mob I think. So I think uh, this farm will cut it for most casual players. Anyways guys, if you build this farm, if you like the video, if you follow my little tutorial on the little module, please consider hitting the thumbs up down below. Also consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this, or if you just like to play Minecraft and watch my channel. <laughs> That's a possibility too. Anyways guys, have a great day, have a great week, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching, goodbye. Oh yeah, <laughs> if you're still here, I forgot to mention, I will leave this mega farm in the world, uh, in the description, the world of that for this mega farm, also for the little one, actually it's gonna be this same world. Uh, so yeah, you can download it there, play with it, maybe build it in your own worlds. I don't know, the world download will be down in the description. Anyways, thank you for watching, goodbye again. <laughs>